<clears throat> hey everyone, welcome back to RJK English and RJK. So um, before I start, make sure to like and subscribe. Have you been learning from this? Make sure to like and subscribe so people see my videos. Also, this will help me get done quicker uh, so that I can move on to Urdu, which we will do next. Okay, so let's start with how do you study the doubled conjunctions? So for instance, let's say I take the K. I'd want to study the, uh, so here's the consonant. I'd want to double it. And I taught you how to do this last time. Then I'd want to double with aspiration, uh, double with aspirant. We're going to kind of assume that the aspirant, the aspirated version is kind of the same letter. We're just to try to learn this because these often go together. And then if it's stacked, try it unstacked. So consonant k, k doubled, k like, bukka, bukka, bukka. Notice I'm holding it longer. Doubled k. I'm going to double it with the aspirated version. K, k. Then I'm going to, if it was stacked, I would unstack it. So let's try it with one that's stacked. This is the retroflex T. Da, da, da. Doubled. See how it's stacked on top of each other? It's vertical. Now I'm going to double it with the aspirated version. Ta. Uh, and then I'm going to try it unstacked. It would be two together. So you'd want to see it like that because sometimes it will it will be unstacked. Okay, that's that's how I suggest going about it in order to start to see it. Okay. Now let's keep going. Let's keep going through this list. Ka. 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 Okay, next. Ka, and this would include the ch. Ka, okay, now I'm going to go to the ga. Doubled. You use this first part of the G twice because you're doubling the consonant. Ka, ka. It's not stacked, so I don't have to try to unstack it. Doubled aspirant. That's a ka. Uh, let's go on to cha. Cha. Cha, and with the aspirated version. Bachan, a cha, a cha. Okay, and the aspirated. I think it would be below it. It's stacked. So I'm going to unstack it. Just to get in my mind what it would look like if it wasn't stacked. Make sure that you have this copied down. I'm going to take it off now. Okay, next. Ja. Ja doubled. Doubled, double with aspirant. Uh, what's, yeah. And unstacked, I don't have to unstack it. All right, next.
All right, doubled. We've already done this one. This is the da, da, retroflex da, da. With the aspirant and unstacked. All right, next aspirated ta. And unstacked. There we go. All right, the duh, uh, retroflex D, duh. with the aspirated and unstacked. A da, a da. Okay. Aspirated, da, da. and unstacked. All right, so we've gotten through the retroflex and we're going into the dentals. Make sure you have this copied down. Double da, dental T, doubled with aspirant. Doubled with aspirant. Don't have to unstack it. Okay, aspirant. Okay. That's the double D. Double D is a little bit special. This one's fun. The aspirant goes right below the D connected to it. See how that, this, oops. This part here is connected to the D, okay? And it's not stacked. I guess if it was, if we call that stacked, it would be a doubled like that. Okay. Now, doubled. N, we've seen this already. It can look two ways. Look like this, or it can look like this. And there is no aspirated version of that. All right. Make sure you have these written down. P. Pa. Double, double with the aspirin. Uh, okay, aspirated version. See how it's a little different. Right. 
doubled. doubled with aspirated version. Aspirated. Okay, moving on to the M. Doubled M. There's no aspirated version. We'll do the Y here. Y. Doubled Y. All right, everybody got those written down? <clears throat> okay, the R. Doubling the R. This is the R before the next letter. That's the second R there. Remember, if we write erm, erm, we would write the M with this on top. That's the R before the M. Okay, L. Double L. There's no aspirated version. Almost done. I bet you can guess the V. Doubled V. No aspirated. The sh. Oops. Doubled sh. The other sh. We saw this with Krishna. Remember Krishna? Shri. Remember this SH plus R equals. And I did it wrong the last time I did it. I put the line over this part. It's not supposed to be. It sticks up above the line. So this is Shra. E. Shri Krishna. Remember, here's the, the re, re. There we go. That's that half, half of the sh connected to this N. Connected to that N. Krishna. Shri Krishna. Okay. And we have the S. Got it all? S, doubled S. There's no aspirated version. And we're going to do the H. Doubled H. There really is a version of this, but we'll do it. like this, but it's not really doubled. You will notice if they're doubled and connected, sometimes there will be a mark like this below. That mark is the key to how to type and connect. If we, once we're done, I'll go to the typing and you'll see we need that button because that connects it. When you have that in the middle with this mark, it then flips it together. So this, this doubled B is really, with this mark, that mark connects them. When you use that mark, you go B, use that mark, and then another B. On the typing system, it connects it into this. Okay? One more. Uh, this is the, the, mm, the other N. Um, if we were to double it, it would be like this. That would be the doubled N. 
And so when you get this N and it's connected to something else, you will only have this bump. That's not an ah. That's the whole letter. But this is the whole letter N, uh, N right here. Okay. All right. That's it. That's it for doubled consonants. If we go back to my um, suggestion, so probably you should take uh, a week to do this. Okay. Take a week. Learn the doubled conjugations. How do you learn it? You write them over and over and over. Make a grid, write them over and over, okay? Get them into your head, especially focus on the odd ones. Then memorize the R conjunctions. Go back and memorize the R conjunctions that we went over. Then go back and look at the N's. They're pretty easy. Uh, they're not that crazy. And then next time we're going to learn the list of remaining most frequently used conjunctions. Then the videos for those will be done, and we'll move on to using these in words. And uh, But you will need to take some time to learn these. You're welcome to keep going with the video series, but then stop and go back, okay? So sorry this is so long. Uh, this was a tough one, okay? I'll talk to you later.